Hello, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Father, we thank you. We give all the honor and the glory and adoration for taking us to sleep and allow us to wake up peacefully without any complications. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord, we want to go in your word. But before then, we ask for spirit of forgiveness. That my hinder our messages, our prayers. Father, forgive us. Why pull our sins away? Ah, see us like your new baby. Send us with that divine ability. Father, that stay away from every spirit of sins. That love what you love and hate what you hate. Father, grant us that grace, O oh Lord. Oh Lord, from the beginning to the end, you are God. Come and be in our midst. Lord, Father, let us fear you and see you like never before. Take all the honor. Take all the glory. Take all the adoration. Take control, Lord, from the beginning to the end, Lord. Father, every spirit that is not of you, we put them under our feet. Father, come and take control. Your power that surpasses every spirit that is not of yours, Father, and that us with that power in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Our Bible verse shall be taken from the book of Hebrews, Hebrews 10, verse 23. Hebrews 10. Verse 23, let us hold fast the profession of our feet without wavering, for he is faithful that promise. You hear that? Because it is our faith that will allow us to hold on to his promise because he has never failed. God has never failed in any way. He has promised he will never fail. I will honor him. I will honor him. He has promised he will never fail. His faithfulness is forevermore. You see, God cannot lie. God will not fail. God cannot lie to me. God will not lie and he will not fail. Whatever he has promised, he will do. It is with mostly that we 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 make we are we make the promise of God to be like so far because of our ways. It's not that God cannot make it manifest immediately, but sometimes our ways can debar the fastness of it. Not not in all cases it is God's. It is, it is God delay or appoint, our appointed time. No, sometimes we delay ourselves unknowingly. It could be by our characteristic, by the way we, <clears throat> we live our life. A lot can cause delay without people's knowledge or either knowingly or knowingly. Probably people are so much comfortable in that way. And for them to turn back and change becomes an issue. That can cause delay as well. God has never in any way to delay anyone. That is it. God has not in God has not in any way to delay anyone. Yes, that is the God I know. If he says he will do it, he will do it. He has done it before and he's still doing it and he will still do it again. That is the God I know. That is the God I know. The God that will not fail his children. So that promises to make it happen. Sometimes the delay can cause by, by that person. But one thing I do know, if you quickly realize it and change your way and make a U-turn, before you know, 
God will reopen a new chapter. And it will still come to pass. Because some people, sometimes they miss it. Because God has promised them. They believe that they can do whatever he wants. Because God promises doesn't fail anyway. It doesn't go like that. You can't say because God has promised you now and you start doing whatever you want. No. You still have to stay within his will. To let what he says come to pass. You have to encourage him. You have to impress him. You have to let him, pro let him have that trust in you as well. That even you that he promised, as long as you... you, you as long as you are you, you are you are alive, you will still do his way. That promise must be there. Don't go away from his will. Because unknowingly, unknowingly, people do that. And when he promise, he never fail. His promise is so tight. His promise is is unique and never tarry. It will still come to pass. If you stay within his will, don't get me wrong. Because God wants to see when he, whatever you are, he has promised you, by the time he fulfilled it, he wants to see that in you that you'll be able to handle it the way he expected. That is God I know. That nobody will come back and say, hmm, look, no. As much as he will have compassion, whom he will have compassion on, eh? And he will show mercy on who he have to show mercy to. Is still, you still have to meet that criteria for you to be able to be counted among those people that you will look at and say, okay, even though it will then the compassion coming, but not when you are on the other side or you are you are so fitted to him and you want him to have compassion. No, he won't have that compassion towards you because God, I, have to, I always tell you, his ways is different from the ways of man. God will judge you exactly how he sees you because he sees beyond even you yourself. He sees beyond even me. So, for you to say you want to convince him, yes, you have to convince him so much. Yes, in a very high rate. That yes, you, 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 you have that faith in him. Your faith is not shaking regardless. That is what God wants to see. The moment you can see that you are trying to do his will, in regardless of what you are passing through, in regardless of whatever that people are bringing here and there to entice you, but you still stand by his will, that his will will come to pass. And he will look into that. He will still do what he has to do for you. Whatever he has to do, he will do it. Because you have already proved yourself as his child. Once you can able to do that, yes, he will see you beyond yourself. And God will do what he has to do when the time comes. Especially to shut up the mouth of the mockers. People that have been mocking, they, they have been mocking you. They have been thinking that, yes, he sees it. Do you think he didn't see it? He saw everything. He sees everything. He knows everything. But you have to encourage him to be able to back you up. Because it is very important. You won't allow all that humiliation and all of that to go in, to just go down the drain like that. You will want God to make sure that he back you up and he fulfill his promise in your life. That is why you have to stay within his will. Whatever that will make you to miss it, stay away from, from whatever it is. Because everything is in his hand in package. There's, any, there's not anyone we used to we, 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 we bring to entice you. It's, he has it in his in his hand. Full package. <coughs> if you understand where I'm coming from. So when he says he will do, whatever he says he will do, he will do. Hold on to him. Yes. Stay firm. And let your faith day by day get increment. Be increased. I am telling you. Because it is very important. Your faith as well will get you there. And the way you do is will. 
let your will let every of your ways be aligned with his will all those things is is it is very important to him but that promise that promise that is mainly the title to the topic of this video that promise that he has promised you i am telling you if your if your ways eh if your ways go is aligned with his will the promise will come to pass don't take his promises for granted don't say because he has promised you anyway we do it you can do whatever you want no be cautious of how you live your life what you do yes and be cautious of how you open your mouth concerning your life history concerning the promise of god in your life as well be careful how you open your mouth because sometimes we are the one that are bring that are not allowing the will of god sometimes to to come to pass the way it's supposed to sometimes we can slow it down through the way we talk through our mouth through our ways through our any in any way whether knowingly or knowingly not everything you have to open out to say sometimes you wait you let it manifest it's even better that way because by the time you start opening out anyhow anyhow some people will not see you as a very good-hearted person some people will see you like oh this one know how to spite people too much this this one knows how to oppress too much but that might not be your intention of saying whatever you have said but that's how they see it. that's how they perceive it what can you say to that that is why sometimes it's better you close your mouth so that you don't misjive sometimes you don't miss your way sometimes you don't even unknowingly or knowingly you don't miss the promise of god it is very important be a very reserved dynamic christian it is very good before you know his promises will come to pass because he never fail his god will never fail yes failure is not in him it's a god of hope and with his promises i am telling you with his promises <laughs> he still stand by it and it will come to pass and before you know you will, you will see him in action that god indeed is a god of promise will never fail all his promises never fail yes but check your relationship with him check your faith with him yes and let your ways be aligned towards exactly his will before you know he will turn he will turn around and look at and and just look at you look up look 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 down on look look from up he will look from up and look at you and nod his head that yes he will, then he will start remember we open that book of remembrance for you because he never fail he never fail if you understand what i mean this this uh, message could be for someone don't be so tired in waiting he never fail but check things around you check what you do check the way you talk check, check the way you open your mouth check your characteristic check your gift check all your your everything day to day the ones that you see that okay maybe maybe if you are doubting on it try to ask him to help you to change that, your ways on that aspect god i am telling you it's a wonderful remoder. It will remote you to exactly the standard he wants you to be. If you are the type that open out too much, before you know, you start closing your mouth. You won't open your mouth when you are not supposed to open out. You can even choose to just be to, to, to wash. Because that is the replica of our maker. Our maker knows how to wash. Yes. He pays attention to everything. Yes. And systematically, he washes. That's why you cannot deceive him. No matter whom you are. Irrespective of whom you are, you can't deceive God. So wait on his promises. Before, before you know, you will see him in action.
thank you very much it will not be longer than this this is just a message to encourage someone if you have been waiting and you think that oh no it's not long you are just there very close but watch things around you and be careful thank you very much father we thank you we give you all the man the glory and adoration for giving us the word that suits our circumstances our station our needs thank you daddy thank you lord oh lord mm. I call all our messages and prayers with the power of precious blood of Jesus Christ. So call our messages and prayers in the power of precious blood of Jesus Christ. I call all our children with the power of precious blood of Jesus Christ. So call our children in the power of precious blood of Jesus Christ. I bless our children today with the blessings of God. I certify whatever our children touches with the power of precious blood of Jesus Christ. Father Lord. Oh Lord Almighty God. The I am that I am the beginning and the end. Esha, the rock of Alpha and Omega. Bid your will of around about all our children day in day out. Wherever, wherever they are doing. Wherever their father, they are not alone. The greater is it that's not in our children that is, that is in the world. Day and night, day in, day out. In all their daily activities. Father, take control. And I say, Jesus, over to you. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Lord. And every one of us that are ready to do the will of God. That are ready to hold on to his promises. And have that unique faith. That yes, it will surely come to pass. Because our God is not God of failure. It's a God of fulfillment. Fulfilled promises. He will definitely do so. So if you are like that, I, I cover every one of us. With the path special blood of Jesus Christ. I soak every one of us in the path special blood of Jesus Christ. I soak our home, everything that concerns us with the path special blood of Jesus Christ. Father, be the whole of our about every one of us like that. And I say Jesus over to you. See us through and see everything that concerns us, our home. See everyone through in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, everyone. Until I come your way again, remember, stay in the will of God. Stay in his promises. He will surely do so. He will, wherever he has promised you, he will do it. But you have to check yourself as well. Thank you very much. Yes, God will help us through and he will see us through. Bye for now until I come your way again.